So I wanted to show how to use material components here with Angular. And material components are basically pre-made components by Google or others that are sanctioned for use with, with Angular. And, and this is really great. And you may wonder why and how these came to be. Well, I think Angular found that there was pressure from other uh, pre-made versions of um, web builders. For example, I've been using this one here for a while, which is called Bootstrap Studio. And you probably could run, um, well, this is really, I do jQuery with this thing, but you probably could run TypeScript in here. But basically, I could hit new design here and create a design. And then you can simply drag and drop components from this menu, which is really, really easy. So I could say text block, say, and just drag it and then start to embellish it. Well, let's see, the word text area, there we go. You drop that, I can size it, I can change the size here. So it's quite um, useful for doing rapid prototyping. And indeed, I probably could use this application to rapidly prototype a uh, Angular app and then convert it to Angular components. So you can basically sketch out the application using this tool, and then you could convert it to Angular. So there's like a text box. Um, you could also drop a table in here, so it's pretty handy. Anyway, this is how I coded my stock application with jQuery and with this tool here. Um, you can also drop a, a whole section in here and it's all bootstrap studio based so I've kind of been hearkened and happy to see that Angular now has been catching up to this methodology of doing rapid prototyping so instead of dropping components in this way visually it's not quite that smooth yet with Angular but it's pretty close so if you look now then at the components that are existing for Angular, you'll find all of these in Material, which are really great. So for example, let's pick an easy one here to show you how to include it. So you, you, you really just do imports and you can start making these. You don't even need to use the CLI until you interface to these and basically want to make them do something, but you really can just import these and use them all that way. So for example, to make a simple list here, you can select list and then you can go to the API. With the API, you'll get the import right here and this will pull it in. So then you wanna go to your CLI and I've been using Studio Code for this thing. So there's the uh, test app I've been working on here with code. And basically I can go now to the app module TS file and add this as an import using code here and we're all set. So paste it in and we'll get this list module here and we'll put this on the bottom and do an import on that and we're all set. So there's our import, this lights up saying we're all good to go. And so to call this thing, basically then we want to go to app component HTML and give it a call. So you can run this thing using the ng uh, serve and watch the web page live. Right now we're just saying we're a test app because that's what we are and that's all we have in here. Okay, so then to run the list, let's go look at the API again and see what we can do. Um, we can basically run it as, 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 well, we can change all this stuff with it here, get label, toggle. So that would give us a toggle. Um, we could list it and let's give that a try. There's the action list and there's the mat list. So let's just do a mat list on it. That's the easiest way and see what we get. So now we can, and this will get picked up because this object is now active. 
So there's our mat list right there, and you can see now that we have other options with this list. And for now, we'll just display a list and call it good. And let's see how it goes. All right, so I want to get back to my page here, which is displaying my, uh, lost it. Okay, there's my test app and there's my list. It's not too impressive yet because I don't have any members added to it. You can do the same thing for a table if you would like. So let me go back here and take a look at the table. Date picker. Well, that ought to be. Let's try a date picker. That should be interesting. Let's see how this looks. So I've been experimenting with these to see how they look and how they work. And just importing them and trying them out to see how these things react. This has been a great deal of interest for me. So now let's put this back in the code here and see how that looks. So when I make changes here, uh, code will autosave and then this gets recompiled automatically and everything updates. So that's kind of been a nice way to run this thing. You get a free web server with uh, Angular, which I like. Okay, now we got the date picker in there. Go back to the API. Let's see how we call this thing here. Date range, new date. There's a lot of stuff with it. I'm probably not gonna be able to run this thing just yet. A little more complex than I thought it was. Uh, there's the example for it. Date range. Okay, let's take a look over here. Date picker. Okay, this ought to work here. Let's grab this and see what we can do with it. So this takes a bit of experimentation, but they've been great about giving you documentation on how to uh, do this. So start date, end date, range picker. I'm gonna try this basic one first and give us and see how this goes. Anyway, that's how to run the stuff. You just try it and then you embellish it to suit. There we go, and what happened it didn't work. It's not a known element, Matt. And I think, oh, look at that, okay. What if we take that out of there? So I got a date box here, but no date inside because the hint is missing. Anyway, this takes time, but this is really how to use these. Um, just gotta work with them and figure them out. This is really my, my first real look at, at this in years, so I'm a little slow at this right now, but I would speed up. They say it takes about a year to be totally proficient with Angular to know all different parts of it. I think I've been at this a few days recently here. I used Angular in Splunk, but it's not as involved as what we're doing here. All right, check boxes. There's date picker, we tried that. Form field, grid list, a list, there's a table, there's a table, let's see, there it is, let's put the table in and see how that looks, okay, Import this. And see how we can do with this. Okay, take a look at what we're offered here for the table. Table map table. So what if we just try a map table? Let's try that. Try a simple mat table and see what happens here.
so no table. That's not going to do it. I probably got to embellish it. Anyway, as you can see, I've got a ways to go to get this stuff really proficient. I'm just sort of meandering around here. But um, I do have an interest in, uh, in Angular. I just need more time to work with it. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.